Hey guys, what's going on? All right, so I've had some requests for um, vinegar eel info. So I've got a bunch of stuff here in front of me, a um, couple different containers as far as like harvesting and then a few different sizes of cultures just to kind of show you, you know, you can culture in almost anything. I've got some foam over here. I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. And then an actual culture that I have. And this is what your culture looks like when you get them. Um, so there's been a lot of questions um, different people have different concerns or questions as far as harvesting or setting up. Um, not actually setting up a culture today, we're just kind of answering some questions. So um, thank you for everybody who has been sending me emails or asking questions or um, people who have had concerns and just didn't really know what to do. So um, just in general, um, I guess we'll start at the basics here. So this culture here is one that I just set up just to show you that you can use even a Gatorade bottle. Um, this one's been going for about a month now and you can see this little foam on the top that's actually tons and tons of eels and if you look at it the best way to do this is in the light look through it from light with behind and you can see how many are in there and how tiny they actually are so these things are almost microscopic they are clear um, two millimeters in length which is about sixteenth of an inch um, so if you just look at it in the dark, it's just going to look like a, a yellow container, essentially. But once you look at it through the light, that's when you see them. And then this here, I'm going to take the camera out of this holder. So what we're looking at, if you look through it, you have to look really close, but you'll see they are in there wiggling around. And this one is several months old, so they'll start to froth on the top. And this is like 10 times zoom with a 12 megapixel camera. You can see them and they're moving around. But if you look at it in a dark room or without a bunch of light, because I got a natural light coming in the door over here, um, you wouldn't be able to see that. So this is how you harvest. Take your foam. This is just like polystyrene foam or polyether. Um, use it for seat cushions and that. Um, it, you can get it at like Hobby Lobby, things like that. And it comes in like big sheets. I cut it down into these little pieces that'll fit down inside your container and then you fill up your container up to about the neck or the base of the neck um, with your mixture so you would fill it up with this put in your piece of foam and then take either tank water or dechlorinated water RO water whatever you have top it off and the worms actually they try to get air so what they do is They'll swim up through the foam into the fresh water and you can actually take the fresh water out and take it straight to the tank. So I'll just usually keep this in my fish room and when I've got a little fry, so I think right now I've got um, several batches of angels and then uh, several tanks of quarries going and I'll just take and just dump a little bit in there and that's pretty much that. Um, this is one of the bigger containers that I wanted to set up to show you. Um, a lot of mine are actually probably 10 times that size, but I always keep little ones around just in case something happens. So I mark them because of evaporation. That way I know how much um, water is evaporating. Always cover them. You can use paper towel, um, a towel, whatever. Just make sure that you keep them covered. That way bugs don't get in there and contaminate them. This one is over a year old and I haven't touched it. It just sits. So I brought a flashlight too, so we could maybe spotlight it from behind a little bit too, but it's not gonna work as well because it's daylight. You can see them in there swimming around because I've got this window open over here, the door. But you can see how absolutely tiny they are. And if you're setting up a new culture, you want to give it about a month. Uh, a lot of people try to rush it and I'll get messages like a week later, hey, my culture's dead. These things have to be pasteurized in order to kill them. So shipping them is not going to kill them. Um, the heat from sitting in your mailbox is not going to kill them. Um, they have to be pasteurized. And then once the, the pasteurization process goes through, it's actually killing the food that the nematodes eat because a vinegar eel is a nematode. Um, they are non-parasitic, so you don't have to worry about them infesting your body. They don't need a host. Um, let's see. 
trying to think of some other questions. Oh, this is uh, your culture. So this is what you're gonna get. We double bag them. And if you look at them in the light, you can see there's, try to get the zoom in here. There's like billions in here. And all it takes is two. So even shipping these things in the cold, um, they're damn near impossible to kill off completely. So I can ship them to you even when it's like freezing cold outside and your culture will be fine because delivery happens within four days. So. so if they are damaged during shipping, um, it should not leak through. Um, but occasionally the postal service is rough and they will pop these. Um, if you do have any problems, just uh, send us a picture of the envelope, let us know that it leaked, and, and we'll take the next steps as far as getting more info from you. So um, It's pretty simple to do, but if you have any questions or need to know anything about these, we've been keeping them for a long time, and um, I mean, the, I think the most frequent thing is people expect them to be a lot larger than what they are, so they always say that they don't see anything in there, but you have to look at them in the right light. So if you just take it so that you can see it through the, you got to keep in mind too, my cultures have been up for a long time. These aren't new. So months and months. Like I said, this one over here, the bigger one's been up over a year so. But you'll see them in there and they're wiggling around. Just take them to a window or something and look at them in the light and you'll see them and they're moving around. So, but anyway, if you have any questions on harvesting um, or setting up the culture, just let us know. Uh, we'd be glad to help. Um, otherwise, you know, go ahead and uh, get your culture. We get them out the same day they're ordered. Unless it's uh, later on Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays. We don't like shipping over the weekend because it just delays the process and they sit in the mailbox or at the post office. So, um, otherwise, enjoy feeding your fish something that's awesome. And uh, if you have questions, make sure to ask, like, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, please. We appreciate that. Um, thanks, guys.